Hello everybody and welcome to the Cotswolds. You are joined by us, Laura and Daisy, and beautiful bearded Rich. That's what I'm gonna call you on the channel now. <laughs> Rich, I swear you've it's been on this you've been on the channel more than me lately. I I'm trying a secret takeover. <laughs> and you're succeeding. <laughs> welcome to the Cotswolds. Today is the Borton on the Water or the Borton 10K. One of the fastest 10Ks allegedly in the country, so it attracts some really, really quick people. Don't know why I'm here, to be honest. I'll tell you why I am, I am here. It's because a while ago, I heard that it was a good race. I thought, yeah, go on, I'll see if I can get in. And it sold out within an hour. So I joined the waiting list thinking, no, I'm not, not gonna get in. Literally six days ago, got an email saying, do you still want to do the race? I thought, yeah, why not? Couldn't really think of a, a reason why not to do it. And I think, Rich, you're similar. You got a last minute email? Yeah, yeah mine was this very week. I yeah. did it on off chance. So we're both in marathon training, you know, so we haven't really sort of... <laughs> All right, let's get the excuses out of the way. So we're both in marathon training, and if it doesn't go well today, it's because we've got heavy legs. And have you got any excuses, Rich? Uh, not very well. Yeah, he's not very well, so yeah, there you go. He's struggled beer last time. And you had, yeah, you had your 9% beer. So there you go. That's what, uh, that's our excuses lined up. But it's supposed to be torrential rain today. But look beautiful blue Cotswold skies. So let's go and get checked in and registered. Four. I'm quite pleased yeah. that. What, what number have you got? 187, which sounds a bit more generic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 404. Yeah, 187, who cares? 404. <laughs> 404, I mean, that's got a ring to it. Yeah. So, quick um, race plan, really, because I haven't really thought about this too much. And I think my best course of action today is, because I, I'd be a fool to run this race and not go for a PB, I think, because I believe my PB is a bit beatable, even though I only ran one six weeks ago. So, course of action, because the PB pace is 4.25 per kilometer. So, I'm gonna go out slightly slower, which will be about 4.30, and maybe hold that for a K or two. And then the middle Ks, the, the middle six Ks until eight, I'm gonna try and lock into 4.30. 425, pardon me. And then the last two, if I've got any juice left, I'm gonna try and drop the hammer and see if I can get that average pace down below 425. So the time to beat for me is 44.32, which I think is my PB. So this is one of the fastest courses in the country. It attracts some of the fastest runners locally. And I think people have traveled a long way to do this race. So yes, I just hope I don't get swept away with the tide too badly, which could happen. How about you, Ricardo? Have you got a, uh, a race plan? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to see whether I get swept up with the start line adrenaline. Yeah. Um, my my PB is 39.19. So yep. I'd like to go some more, but as you can tell by my uh, even more nasal than usual voice. I'm a bit bunged up, so I'm not sure I'm, I'm there at the moment, but I might I might see how I feel at the start and then go from there. But otherwise, somewhere around 42 would be nice. Yeah, well, let's see how we do. So let's go back to the car. I'll get sort of declothed, put my racing gear on, get my, uh, my bib on. And yeah, let's see if we can get some race day magic to happen today. It's gonna be a good day, it's gonna be a good day. So is this part of the course? Yes, mate, yeah, yeah. So are we, are we going the right way or the wrong way? Oh, okay. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. So we're just doing a quick warm up and we've got a reliable informant aid. He's done this a few times and he said, it does bottleneck on this bridge. So he said, try and get out sort of fast-ish to avoid the traffic. So if I go off too fast, it's this <laughs> man's fault. <laughs> oh, nice. What an amazing place to run around. 
might not get a PB today because I'm just going to be stood looking like jaw dropping. I'll see you, mate. <laughs> Please listen very carefully to the following instructions. The course starts with two laps around the village. And this is going to be very busy. Oh, yeah. it's, 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 it's PB course. <laughs> yeah. And Rich, any last minute changes to the plan? Still going 42 or? <laughs> I'm not revealing anything. He's going to go out at 32 pace. We'll take it from there. Have fun, Ricardo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, make, America, make America great again. There's some stars and striped socks. <laughs> yeah. You watch him at Newport, he's going to come out with like a big eagle, yeah. like <laughs> blue and white, red coloured cap. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Is it? Race plan's gone out the window already. Started out too fast. Got sucked out with the, uh, the riptide and super shoes. So plan B is hold a hard pace. See if we can hang on. Yes, buddy. Hold it, son. Hold it, guys. Hold it, lads. Okay, sit rep, 9k, 40 minutes, which means I've got 4 minutes and 32 to get this last k done, which means we better drop that hammer. Yeah. Come on, go on you got it. let's go. go. On. go on. And then come to Bourne to not get it. a PB. Go on. Yeah, come on. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done.
Shit, by the way. Oh, fuck now. Got me a PB there, mate. Oh, no. Thirteen second PB. Wow. The fast start didn't really help me. I ended up locking into 425s like I said I was going to do. The last 2k were hard. That last k was a killer. I think I went too hard too early. Didn't think I was going to make it. But as always, I tried to find something for the sprint finish. And uh, yeah, I ran all the around that last 1500 meters with a black pair jogger who gave me a good finish. So yes, 13 second PB. Feels good. So, hey, how did you get on, mate? PB. Yes. Four, nine. Mate, we didn't come all this way to the Cotswolds to not get a PB, did we? No. And even though we're in training for a marathon, there's no way we're taking no, it easy it's today. It's and when you get I, I, when you get swept out by that tide of super shoes and fast runners, you just you just know that you're in for a, a difficult one, don't you? Yes, a sea of super shoes. Yeah, but what a great feeling, man. How was that last K for you? Painful. I yeah. stitched at 9k, but Did you? I see you in the distance just shoot off. Well, like I knew that there. it was going to be tight because I looked at my watch and I thought, I've got to go, I've got to go. But you came with me by the sounds of things and we both got the job done! Yes, happy which days. Which is what it's all about. Back to marathon training now. Yes! Oh. Sorry, sorry. I wasn't even recording enough, I was. Rich, just say, imagine you just didn't just speak for three minutes. I, I've got to come up with the same amount of enthusiasm. Yeah, um, uh, about 39, 39, and I got swept along by the crowd at the beginning, so I did two quick, like three, four, five it's blocks. so start, hard not to, isn't and it? I just tried to, to hang on. Yeah. But, yeah, pretty pleased, pretty pleased. What did you get up to with days? We just sat on that bench over there. It's not a bad place to hang out. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> right, should we get some photos, some media? Of course. And then we'll go home. So we have got the official chip time because these sort of races, you stand in a queue and you tell them your number and then they print you out a little printout. So the official time, chip time is 44.20, which gives me a 12 second PB. Strava time says 44.22. And my splits don't look too bad. They were a little a little hot the first 2k but I knew I knew that I knew I'd gone out too fast like everybody does on this race and then I sort of settled into the original plan A so I did actually say I was going to try and hang on to that sort of what I went out at pace but I, I just couldn't hack it so I sat back into those uh, the PB pace and it turned out to be a good decision and then I dropped the hammer last k and I managed to come in with a decent uh, decent finish so yeah feeling really good so this must be something about this course that makes people run fast. I'm pretty sure it's that fast start, but I think I'll be back. Really enjoyed that, and that was well worth signing up. That was well worth signing up to the waiting list for because th this race sells out within half an hour of it going live. So I joined the waiting list, and like I said, I only found out I was doing this six days ago. In the middle of marathon training, PBs just feel great especially if you haven't specifically trained for that so yes I feel like the marathon training is working so yeah feeling good got your donut so we are back and I'm just about to head out for a, a little recovery run because I do actually do need to do a little run to get my weekly volume in uh, for week seven of marathon training. Daisy, you are killing this video with your little demon. She's like a little demon. Why do you make the noises of a demon? And yes, so PB, so pleased with that because I didn't expect it. And sometimes the races that you don't expect to go well do. And sometimes the opposite happens in my experience. The ones I really prepare for just don't go to plan. So it's funny how life goes sometimes. And of course, that's not how it goes for most people. If you prepare, you normally get the rewards. But in my experience, it's the ones that catch me off guard that normally end up going the best. But one thing that I just can't get past, no medal, no medal today. There wasn't anything apart from a couple of freebies. Uh, food and drink, so maybe that's a thing that Borton Road Runners do, or the race. Maybe that's just never—they never give out medals. I don't know. 
but I do enjoy my medals, so yeah, slightly, slightly annoyed about that. But I'd probably give the race a nine out of 10 for that reason, because there's no medal. But we went to the Cotswolds with the objective of getting a PB. I've got it and I've brought it back home. I'm already looking forward to challenging that PB later on in the year. Maybe at my next 10K race. No, that's too soon because I'm in Nottingham in two weeks. So that's all for now. I'm just out for my recovery run, as I said, and I will see you on the next week of training, which is gonna be week eight. And then we're gonna be halfway through the training for Newport. So I think I'm in good nick. I think I'm in good shape. So yeah, hopefully I can continue to ride this wave of positivity. So feeling good. I will see you guys on the next one. Take it easy wherever you are in the world. See you soon. Ta -da. It's on Andy! Let's go!